everybody how you doing today we are back on the prairie back on the prairie with the 223 no sx's this week b max 50 grainers i got a few 60s if i run out of them where'd we go oh boy i had one on camera and he decided to leave us. Walked into this place. Guy told me they poisoned it. It's private property. Said they poisoned it, but they missed a lot of them. Uh, not come over the fence. There is a lot of them yet out here. But it's like they're spooky. They're gone. Somebody's been shooting it besides me. I'm not the first one here. I'm on the very, very edge of the town. I mean, I got holes 20 yards out. It probably goes that way. The nearest shot all the way across town, probably 400-ish. Yeah, let's find some dogs to shoot at. They're out there. We just got to wait for them. All right, we got the cameras up and running. We're going to start this show. 244-yarder. There, I had a 100-yarder one right down there after I get set up shoot this way. Let's give it two MOA. I don't know where that's going to put me at, but we're going to find out. I've almost got the wind right in my face. It blows and it quits, so it does out in the prairie a lot. You have wind and uh, wait five minutes, you'll have no wind for tan. But we got a little bit, maybe a hair right to left, and I let him get away. No, he's still there. Well, it's got to be more than 244 yards. And we are shooting a 50 grain B Max. And it is on, what did I say? I do not remember. 28 and a half grains benchmark. And we are still there. Oh, yeah. That makes them hop and dance. Of course, V Maxes, I've shot a bajillion of them. They shoot really, really well. Very, very accurate bullet. Ain't much to look at. About 125 or so. There we got him. <laughs> Hair bit low, caught dirt. If I get my tail in gear, I might get a shot off at him though. My there, I think he's on there yet. There he ain't on there. Without putting a laser on it, I'm going to say they're about 150. A couple of them out there, look at that. Line of up. And once again, I don't have any references to tell me where I'm hitting at. I think we're on the same dog. There's a pair of them. And that's that 250 yard again. No wind. Tostitos. There's a pair of them. And that's that 250 yard again. No wind. Tostitos. Really hard to tell if we're on the same one with the camera as the scope, but I think we are. Same distance. I'm going to get just a hair of bit of wind. And he's a runner. I should be in there. Should be. I gave him a touch of wind. I should not have done that. Oh, he just went down. Come on back up.
Oh, that little son of a buck. He started running right when I pulled the trigger. He's got to be in there. That toasted him. Right next to that white cow pie, or whatever it is. In the grass, very hard to see. I got one inch on the scope. Where'd you go? There he is. Come on out of there. There we took him. There we took him. Give it just a hair of laugh for a bit of breeze that's blowing. Put it right on his back. Should have been here over 200. Post laying over there. I got 341 I could catch it at. You give it a hair of wind. I seen dust, but I couldn't tell where it came from. Three forty one, I think I said that was. I gave it just a touch of wind and I put it right on top of his head. It looked like it caught him right in the shoulder. That's a pretty good jag over there for two two three. Not so much a big jag for the rifle. This for the scope though, we'll talk about that on another day. All right folks, so I get that bugger to stand still. We're gonna try a 69 grain. Sierra. I just punched a hole through them. That's a hundred yard zero. I got two on the scope. You got two buddies there. Well, that's definitely not going to be a prairie dog bullet. Pretty accurate though. Didn't even change uh, sight settings or nothing. Just aimed right on and clipped two in a row. Let's find some more. I got three of them right down there. Kind of grazing away. Give, give it, what I give it, an inch and a half. We'll take that one on the right, standing up, just went down. That's the way it's supposed to happen. And the other two are just a little bit to the left. Boy, a 50, 50 grain V max when it's in its range. Now the third one's still there. I think we got a whole cluster over here. We might get two, three, four of them out of this one. 
Oh, they got apart. They all were together a minute ago. She hit that dog and the dust fly about 50 yards behind it, a little bit to the right, left. Oh God, where am I at? I don't know if I still got dogs in there or not. Well folks, it appears our prairie wind has showed up for the day. Battery ran dead in my verb. I walked back out, got one, come back in here, got some more water. Wind has been blowing for 20, 30 minutes non stop now. It's just getting stronger and stronger. I think the 223 pretty much proved its worth. Uh, I think that barrel made some pretty good shots there. Made a few of them after over and over and over and over. The scope is definitely the. Uh, the limiting part of it right now, I believe. Uh, it's probably got the worst eye relief anything I've ever owned before. It is horrible. Most scopes, you got about four fingers of eye relief. You know, it scopes three, three and three quarter, four inches. This thing's about two. Really, anything over 12 power just sucks. It goes up to 20. It's a Vortex Viper, too. You know, it's supposed to be a pretty good scope. I've got two uh, HSTs, I think they're called. Uh, now they call them Gen 1. Excellent scopes for dog shooting, 4 to 16s. Not real impressed with these, but the rifle, I think we'll keep that barrel a little longer. We'll shoot it this season. I still might change it out, turn it into something for next year, but that'll be a wintertime project. Anyway, if the wind ain't too bad on this thing, thanks a lot for coming along. If you like my stuff, hit that sub button. Uh, you like to see what I shot this morning, 22,250. That is on my Patreon page. Thanks a lot, folks. Have a good one.